Life on the sailboat can be quite demanding, even when you are 100% healthy. This is how Julian is helping. Today I would like to share with you how I have been managing everyday boat life with one hand. That's why I need and the coffee wet, is done. And the coffee is already yeah. done. Hi guys, welcome aboard Polly again. We're still in St. Martin, uh, which is this uh, little cute island in the northeastern corner of the Caribbean. It's half Dutch, half French. We're on the French side, and there's a lot of pretty boats around here. And uh, we've got the marina right next door. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the. Uh, uh, Anya breaking her hand and how does she handle things daily for the last four weeks when she was in a, well kind of a cast. Oh, hi. Hi honey. Yeah, so today is a, a special episode, uh, maybe not special, I want to just introduce you about uh, I don't know like uh, how can you survive on a boat while being in a cast uh, and having two kids and many other stuff. Yeah. So this is actually uh, and a husband. And the husband, yes. So yeah, it's been uh, four weeks since I broke my uh, right um, uh, fourth, uh, fourth metabase. Uh, some far You're fifth. way over my head. No, it's fifth, sorry. Sorry for my English. Fifth uh, bone. So yeah, so this is kind of, uh, it's not a cast, but it's an or orthesis. This is how you say it in English. I have no idea, but So it's this is quite a kind of, uh, so uh, they, they claim. The, bo the, bo the bottom line is you cannot use your hand. Period. Yeah, and uh, they claim that it's uh, much more efficient than a traditional cast because the hand is like, look at it, it's like a kind of uh, a structure. <laughs> yeah, so my hand is just put on that kind of bridge and it just lay down for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but uh, yeah. So, so the big deal is this, <laughs> that as it turns out, Anya, yeah, can handle uh, okay, uh, Anya can handle things much better <laughs> with her left hand operational and right <laughs> in operational than me with both of them operational. So, yeah, I'm gonna so uh, she's I'm just apparently her productivity has not has not really suffered from uh, having the right hand in op. So once, uh, honey, you're here with the camera, I'm gonna just prepare a coffee. So All right, cool. So being uh, uh, left-handed doesn't mean that you can drink coffee. So the coffee addiction is much more. Uh, <laughs> stronger than uh, being uh, disabled a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. In, po in, Poland, in Poland, we have this really cool uh, proverb saying that the mother, that the need is a mother of all invention. <laughs> so I, I think actually there, is, there might be an English one like that. But in any case, Anya has been more than ingenious in uh, circumventing the, prob you know, I the, the need for the right hand. Actually, um, you know, the fact about me is that I, I try or I stay positive uh, in many, many uh, conditions that occur, happens in my life. And uh, so it's, I don't know if you say before, uh, but it started just January. First we lost one mark, then we lost another one. And then two weeks uh, later, I just uh, broke my hand. It, does, it means that I need just totally uh, refocus uh, about my life, my priorities. So I always try to see bright side of that uh, moment in my life. So the bright side is that I just try to just focus uh, on what I really want to do in my life because now I cannot work. <laughs> I cannot edit some videos. That's why we've been so uh, silent for our last weeks and we are not so regular. So, but being on the daily basic on the boat, it's, uh, it's of course, I try to be as much effective as I can. Of course, there are some points that uh, I just need for, I just need to ask for help. This is how <laughs> Jul Julian is helping Actually, his, he's learning. his one handed mother, mm -hmm. honey. Oops. <laughs> yes, that's a big one. Yeah. Anya is having a big process uh, learning, learning. Who doesn't have that? Learning uh, how to ask and how to accept help. <laughs> it's not even about asking because a lot of times she gets it, but she just she's like, no, no, I can do it myself. No, I can do it myself. No, 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 no. I can do it myself. But yeah, now she's finally coming to, to, the, to terms <laughs> that, that life is also about uh, being able Asking to accept help. help. 
Yeah. Not just asking, but also being I'm able to, to be accept that someone's offering. I'm used to be independent. That's, That's right. why. But yeah, of but, course. But by the way, but for I'm, the la last I'm laughing, but it's serious. But for the last uh, year, a lot has changed too, because I'm here all the time, so you don't have to be independent all the yes. time. Yes. Like uh, back when I used to fly, for half a month, you had to do everything on your own. No. So yeah, and you so how, do you grind, me, uh, so how do you grind a coffee with one hand? <laughs> yeah, so let's, let's, check let's this let's out. This is like a single-handed job. You only like have one hand. Like that. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Doctor, I'm really good girl. I don't move my hands. <laughs> I just follow the order. I cannot move my uh, arm. Uh, not my arm, my... Uh, Fingers, 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 and the fingers, hand. actually, and the fingers. wrist. Yeah. The wrist is the big thing. Yeah. So uh, you've been asking how we deal with the, oh, with deal with a, we deal with a medical care while living on a boat. Since we since we lived on a boat, we just got a private uh, travel insurance. Uh, it's uh, it's from Poland, and we we don't we don't pay a lot every month, but we are totally uh, uh, covered. covered, secured. Uh, if something happens, I can just go to the hospital. I just collect all the receipts, and they just uh, give me the refund. money back. Yeah, refund. Mm -hmm. So this is really amazing. Including the uh, including the medicine. Yeah. So this is really amazing because when something happens, we don't we don't need to just think if I should go to the to the hospital do the X-ray. This is what happened five five weeks ago. I just fell down. I just hit the surface, and then oh my God, it's it's it was swollen. It hurts, but. I didn't need to just think if I should go to the hospital or not. <laughs> and, and I just like to mention, we're not the kind of people that are going to run to the hospital with every single thing, you know. So um. basically, uh, fortunately, things that we consider emergencies happen very rarely here, and we very rarely use typical medical care. Mm. Uh, and uh, then I, you know, it's like it's funny because. Uh, I just limited my uh, social media activity, but then I turned to the left finger, so it's really difficult to answer all the comments and really be, you know, just answer in a, not only yes or no or okay, but just answer in one sentence. But I just try, I try just to uh, be up to date with uh, our stories on Instagram and on Facebook, um, not only on YouTube because I cannot edit on vlogs, but on Instagram. So I got a really amazing uh, uh, comment, not comment, the, the message from one of our followers and she sent me a message that some time ago she broke two hands so she was really stuck uh, for a few weeks and the only thing she could do was uh, uh, drinking water. The only thing she could do independently was drinking water uh, 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 through, through a straw. Straw, yeah. So yeah. And then uh, every time I can just do, do here and move a little bit and just even take kids with me like this. I just always, I always think of her that's like, oh, it's amazing. Speaking of left hand, I want to show you. Okay, yeah, I, I want to I wanna show you guys something. This is really funny. You know, ever since Anya broke her left hand, her right hand, and I've been coming back to the computer because we've been using the same computer. Her back got, got uh, washed away by a wave. And uh, my Mac has gone completely berserk after last Mac update. Uh, so here's what happened. We use the same computer. I come to the computer and guess what? What's wrong with this picture? All right, you guys can, you guys can keep guessing, but what's wrong with that picture? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Look at it, this is really helpful. The only uh, thing that I cannot do definitely is uh, lifting up the dinghy and dropping it down to the water right. and then driving. I cannot start the engine so for last month, one month my husband was like amazing driving me back and forward to the shore and then driving, uh, <laughs> driving Miss Daisy and then washing my hair because it's really difficult to do uh, like a shampoo and other things with one hand so yeah that was amazing and cutting the veggie and what next <laughs> and putting the dress on I tell getting you, like, <laughs> getting I, tell you I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know what stops her really honestly no. I'm saying in a good sense that what what would make you hmm incapable of doing things yeah. you always find a way around that's 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 a very good thing my conclusion uh, after this four weeks is every, like a, uh, with time i started just to miss really a lot of things that i normally can do uh, when i am totally uh, 
you know, uh, how do you say it? Yeah, disabled or otherwise. When you're not fully <laughs> capable of doing things. Yeah, when, when I'm capable, sort of yeah. So I started to miss cooking, baking, uh, practicing yoga, uh, playing ukulele. I just like, oh my God, I want to just make, uh, practice new songs and like a, when something is always like that, uh, when something is forbidden or we're starting to lose it, it, you're trying it to really ac not deserve it, not deserve it, but uh, 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 desire, it. desire it. So mm -hmm. this is really, uh, it's really sad actually, because we should really. Uh, it's, it's funny that we need to start uh, we losing need to, it. To uh, we just need to, to start to losing something in order to actually val start be grateful, valuing it, be for, grateful everyday for everyday it. simple things. So remember, yeah. you don't need to be uh <laughs> try not to try not to wait for something to disappear from your life before you actually realize how beautiful yeah. it is. There can be really simple things like uh, kissing your mm, beloved ones. Mm. That's <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly when on the last recording the uh, our microphone just went completely insane. And that's why I'm, I'm wet. That's why Anya is and actually wet. And the coffee wet. is done. And the coffee is already <laughs> yes. done. So. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, what we were uh, saying or what? So what we lose? Okay. So. You're we talking to the guy with amnesia. So you're, you're gonna to have to start okay, it. So yeah. So if you're new here on our channel, remember please subscribe and remember to click the notification bell. Then you're gonna get all the notifications to your phone if our vlogs appear. And thank you for uh, being a patient uh, because we haven't posted for some time. And uh, once I'm gonna get uh, ready, uh, we're gonna uh, start editing again. Exactly, we're gonna catch it up a little bit. And for our patrons, thank you for being with us. And we post uh, more content at our love boat on Facebook. And yeah, I think we're done here. And and it was uh, we promised a little bit surprise because we wanted to show you <laughs> how, how is it possible to take a bath in this uh, uh, you know in the ocean exactly. with one hand. Okay, the coffee is almost ready here. So this is what I do here. Okay, so. It's like a periscope. Yeah, and then just help yourself with your breath here. <laughs> Still following the rule, I'm not moving uh, my uh, fingers. Yeah. And then I need some help of my husband. <laughs> Rinsing the water. And that's the end. It's the end. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome aboard Polly again. Uh, again. After what? Three, four years? Yeah, three years. That, after. Was, that was the last time we did uh, a proper boat tour. Uh, there was a lot of questions, a lot of uh, repeating questions about our uh, boat, you know, to do a few things, show them more in detail. <laughs> Abre a consciência, deixa os filhos a crescer.